Hello everyone and welcome to our video series on Learn German Grammar. In this video, we'll be learning the most important verbs with dative. Each of this verb is explained with the help of an example. So, let's begin. Verben mit Dativ Let's first learn what are Verben mit Dativ. Here's the first sentence. Er hilft mir. In this sentence, er is the nominative subject, whereas mir is the dative object. As you can see, this sentence has no accusative object, even though a dative object is present. This is happening because helfen is a dative verb. These are verbs that take only the nominative subject and the dative object. And in these cases, the accusative object is absent. They are known as Verben mit Dative. There are some verbs in German that take only the dative object. We'll be doing a few of them, the most important ones which are used in day-to-day -day language. So, let's begin with the first one. Antworten Let's see how to use this verb. Warum antwortest du mir nicht? In this sentence, du is the nominative object, whereas mir is the dative object. There is no accusative object in the sentence. The second verb is begegnen. And let's see how to use it. Er begegnet plötzlich einer Frau. Er is the nominative subject and einer Frau is the dative object. And the next verb is danken. Let's see how to use it. Ich danke dir für deine Hilfe. Again, in this case, ich is the nominative subject and dir is the dative object. Für deine Hilfe is a prepositional object with the preposition für. You can watch our video on accusative prepositions to understand this. The next verb is fehlen. Let's see how to use it. Du fehlst mir. Du is the nominative subject, whereas mir is the dative object. Another common way to say I miss you in German is Ich vermisse dich. Let's do the next verb. Gefallen. Let's see its use. Dieser Hut gefällt mir. Since gefallen is an irregular verb, in the conjugation with er, sie, es, it's gefällt. Coming back to the sentence, dieser Hut is the nominative subject, whereas mir is the dative object. The next verb is gehören. And this verb has nothing to do with the verb hören. Let's see how to use it. Dieses Buch gehört meinem Bruder. In this case, dieses Buch is the nominative subject and meinem Bruder is the dative object. Moving on to the next verb. Glauben. Let's see how we can use this in a sentence. Ich glaube dir nicht. Here also, ich is the nominative subject, whereas dir is the dative object. This dative object 
is a personal pronoun in dative. If you want to revise personal pronouns in dative, you can watch lesson 36 of our video series. The next one is a very common verb. Gratulieren. Let's see the sentence. Ich gratuliere dir zum Geburtstag. Here also, ich is the nominative subject and dir is the dative object. Zum Geburtstag is the prepositional object. The next verb in dative is helfen. And let's look at a sentence. Wie kann ich Ihnen helfen? Here again, ich is the nominative subject and Ihnen is the dative object. This question is for an informal situation. You will come across this question many times in Germany. In an informal situation, you would ask, Wie kann ich dir helfen? Let's move on to the next dative verb. Passen. Let's see how to use it. Dieses Kleid passt mir nicht. In this case, dieses Kleid is the nominative subject and mir is the dative object. As you can notice, there is no accusative object because verb and mid dative need only the nominative and the dative object. This verb in this context can be used for clothes, shoes, etc. The next verb is raten. And here's a sentence. Ich rate dir Dative zu wiederholen. This verb is very commonly used when you are giving a suggestion to someone. Coming to the next verb. Schaden. Let's see how to use it. Rauchen schadet der Gesundheit. The article for Gesundheit is the and it changes to der because it is the dative object in the sentence. The nominative subject is Rauchen. Let's move on to the next verb. Schmecken. And here's the sentence. Die Pizza schmeckt uns sehr gut. Die Pizza is nominative subject and uns is the dative object. Now, if you're talking about yourself, what would you say? You would say, the pizza schmeckt mir sehr gut. This is a very common topic of conversation when you're out in Germany to eat somewhere. Do you remember this sentence? Another dative verb is Vertrauen. And how would you use it? Ich vertraue dir. Ich is the nominative subject and dir is the dative object. And the last verb? Wehtun. Let's see how to use it. Mein Fuß tut mir weh. Mein Fuß is the nominative subject whereas mir is the dative object. This is another very important structure you should remember, especially if you're going to the doctor in Germany. So these were the most important verbs with dative case in German. Let's go through them once again. Antworten Begegnen Danken Fehlen, Gefallen, Gehören, Glauben, Gratulieren, Helfen, Passen, Raten, Schaden, Schmecken, 
Vertrauen, Wehtun. Great! Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Danke! Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section below. Tschüss! Auf Wiedersehen!